washed off, all the dirt's gone off of him. Now we want to make sure that he feels good afterwards. So this is where we're going to take this sponge. It's got some water mixed with a little liniment in it. We can do his whole body or just his legs, you know. But notice Lynn is going up and down his legs, around his shoulders, basically just making him feel really good. Uh, it's just kind of like an overall body rubbed down with a little liniment, uh, just to take care of any little sorenesses that might crop up. Remember, uh, you know, a sound horse is very, very important. You know, if your horse is a little unsound, got those bumps and bruises, it's going to affect his attitude. And that can really be a negative snowball. So we want to make sure that on a daily basis, this horse feels as good as he possibly can. All right, so we are going to do that uh, uh, little sponge bath. And there's, you know, whether it's warm water, cold water, warm is better. You know, I'd highly recommend warm water for the sponge bath, but, you know, uh, your horse will get used to whatever. Just be careful if it is cold. Don't go right at him with it. Right. Now, she's going to take a towel and uh, wipe his legs down, wipe down any areas that are dripping in water. Of course, if we would have given him an overall uh, body bath or body wash, we would have taken a scraper, some kind of a squeegee, and just squeegeed the water off of him first. All right? uh, but notice how she's doing the legs. And right in underneath the ankles, right above his hoof, right above his heels, she's paying particular attention to really drying that spot out. Notice it's almost like polishing a shoe, right? Just using that towel back and forth right in underneath those ankles. And the reason is because of the way the horse's foot is shaped in under there, water can pool in that little crease, in that little spot. And it will actually cause a fungus and cause what we call scratches on a horse. And uh, scratches can make one, you know, pretty sore. I mean, they get pretty grouchy about those things. So drying that area is very important before we put him back in the stall. Uh, she's also going around his mouth, taking care of his mouth and his head, you know, make sure that's clean. And, uh, you know, once we've, once we've washed him off, given him that body sponge bath and then dried off his legs, he's ready to go back to the stall.